Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Becky. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a new house update. As you know, I have been on a minimalist journey for a couple of years now. And since we've moved to the house, a lot of things have changed. I've gotten rid of a lot of things, donated a lot of things, and just gotten rid of a lot of house decor that I didn't need and a lot of bulky furniture. So I thought I would take you guys throughout the house and just show you how everything is looking so far. So let's get to the tour. So this is my bedroom. And I still have my bed in the same spot and the little uh, wrought iron decor is still up there. The only thing that I changed were the mirrors that were here. I took those down and I moved the pictures that were on this side above the nightstands. And I went ahead and gave the mirrors to a friend. I have this IKEA TV stand and I don't have a lot on there. I just have a couple of books that I like to read at night and some decor. And I kept the TV on top of there. And our daughter likes to watch DVDs. So that's why we have that there. And this used to be on this wall over here. And I decided to move it because every time you open the restroom door, it hits the corner of the TV stand. So went ahead and moved it on this side away from the door and this mirror used to be on this wall right here so I moved the mirror to where the TV stand used to be and the little bench that was underneath it I went ahead and just put it at the foot of our bed that way if I need to put my socks on I can just go ahead and sit right there if you guys recall I had a bookshelf over here and I went ahead and put that in the office instead and it's just opened up the space so much more and quite honestly every time I had to go into my closet I would hit my elbow on the corner of the bookcase so that was annoying so I went ahead and moved it to the office and I'll show you guys where that's at so in front of the window I just have my ironing board my iron and my sewing machine and under that I just have two little containers with fabric and other things for sewing and I have this there because currently I have been working on some sewing projects and that's why that is out and this is my side of the bed and again it's just the same decor it was on this side I just moved it over here and then the other IKEA Set of drawers I forgot I think they're called Alex drawers if I'm not mistaken it just looks so much more open and there's not a lot of clutter in here I just have you know what we use so all this is open now and the TV stand over here and everything just functions perfectly for us this way This is my daughter's room and if you guys recall that's my boys room over there so this is the office and a lot has changed in here I've gotten rid of a lot of wall decor a lot of pictures and other little knickknacks that were all on this wall right this wall was covered with pictures and other wall decor I actually like the way it looks better now because it's more open and you can better appreciate the wicker baskets that I have up here before it was just in a sea of decor so it was hard to really focus on anything on here so now the wicker baskets stand out and this little round mirror stands out now so I'm really enjoying the way that it looks now we kept the TV stand in the same spot I just got rid of a lot of stuff that was on the shelves and I just kept what I really liked 
and I also moved things around. The desk was actually facing at a diagonal right here and I just moved it up against the wall. I had more space to do that now because I got rid of the big brown bookcase that was right here. It took up so much space and this is where I put the white bookcase that was in our bedroom. I just stuck it over here and it just uh, functions a lot better now. There's more room for the um, printer and now it is more cohesive in here. So the room on this side is not heavy anymore. Now it's equal and that's all we have on this side. Just a little Ikea couch and some pictures of my husband's older children. The mirror is in the same spot. I was able to get rid of just enough stuff to open up this room so much more. So this is in the same spot. I got rid of some more decor that I had up here that was just like drowning this little shelf. I just kept a picture of my in-laws on there and a little faux plant. So the same pictures are still there. I just swapped out this picture frame for the smaller white one. I used to have a bench right here and I went ahead and moved that to the dining area and I got this shoe shelf. I believe it's from Target, but it was uh, given to me by my neighbor, which I really appreciate because it works a lot better for us. With all the kiddos that we have, everybody's able to fit their shoes on there. And all I did was I put some contact paper that I got from Walmart on the top of it just to give it some color. I am using this wicker basket that I got from Hobby Lobby for my daughter's shoes. That's what that looks like now. And it's opened up a lot it looks more airy and over here nothing really major has changed over here the couches chairs and coffee table are still in the same spot the only thing is that I got rid of the mirrors there were like sunburst mirrors and I took those down because they were just swallowing up the wall they were so big and these little decor pieces I had on the wall adjacent from this uh, in the dining room and I just move those over here instead it just looks a lot cleaner more cohesive a lot brighter on that wall and this picture is still in the same spot <laughs> I really like that picture I'm not gonna get rid of that one and I will be actually getting rid of these chairs soon I told my sister that she can have them so we still have this in the same spot I just got rid of a lot of decor that was cluttering up the shelves and it made it so much more tedious to clean and dust and it was just very annoying so I got rid of a lot of things and I just kept what I absolutely loved so I got these white houses from Hearth and Home I think is what it's called by Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines the home decor that they have at Target and I was able to get these little houses and I just love them, they're so cute, and I love that they're different sizes. These plants were always there, so I just kept those. This little crate, I painted it myself. I got that from Walmart, and the little faux plants I had gotten from Ikea. I just like that it looks super clean and simple. There's still some decor on there, but it's not overwhelming, and that is the look that I wanted to go for as I've been on this journey of, towards minimalism and getting rid of a lot of things. I didn't want my house to be completely bare and stark. I wanted it to be my style, my personality, and I feel like I've been able to achieve that. And this is from Kirkland's. I got it years ago and I just absolutely love it. I decided to go ahead and keep that. And in here I just have our 
napkins that we use when we eat and some tablecloths and I'm really only utilizing these two drawers here everything else is empty and on top of there this was full of decor I got rid of everything I kept a picture of my dad up here and this plant I got from Hobby Lobby and this mirror I just kept there. I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. And on this side, nothing's really changed too much. Like I said, this bench was in the entryway and I just moved it over here because it just fit better. <laughs> and now I can have at least up to three people seated on here. And this buffet table is still in the same spot. I just removed all the decor that was on top of it. So like I said, I just, I just removed the wall decor that was on either side of this painting and now your eye is able to focus on that painting and you're able to appreciate it better now and now you can see the detail in the buffet table and it just looks a lot more open, a lot cleaner. On this wall, there used to be a desk and a chair and I donated that desk because we honestly were not utilizing it. It was just sitting there holding decor and the brass lamp that I moved upstairs into the office. I was able to give that to somebody who can actually use it for what it was meant to be used for. And the chair I gave to my mom and I kept the family pictures up here and this little mirror I kept up here too. In a video in the past, I had told you guys that I got rid of my sectional and we got this new couch from Gallery Furniture and it has been work functioning a lot better now. The living room or family room is so much more open. I had gotten these blue chairs from Pier 1. They had them on sale so I went ahead and picked those up just for extra seating and it was just enough seating so we could have you know more people uh, seated comfortably in here but it doesn't take up a whole lot of room like that sectional did and the fireplace is looks a lot different now I removed a whole lot of decor from there and I just kept um, just a couple things these two hanging wall decors I got that from Magnolia Market in Waco Texas they used to be on this wall so I just transferred them over here these little wooden uh, wall decor panels were on the fireplace and I just move those and put the hung them on the wall instead the curtains are the same the only major difference in here like I said was the sectional and I had a little bookcase in the corner right here that I used just for decor guys it was only to hold decor so I got rid of all of that stuff and now this room is so much brighter it's more open and airy the kids have more space to play and run around and that's what I wanted. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and taking a tour of our home and seeing how things are looking since we've decided to go on this journey of minimalism. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date as time goes on. So far, I feel good with the things that we have decided to purge from our house, things that we've donated. I have no regrets about it. I think this is the best decision that we have ever made as a family to go on this journey of minimalism. It has blessed us in so many ways. It has cut down on cleaning time. Uh, around the house before it would take me much longer to tidy up my home dust clean all of that stuff and now I find that I am taking less time doing that now that I have less things so it's been beneficial in so many ways so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see you on the next one bye